problem that the Labour Party has today uh, is that uh, Bill Shorten uh, is an economic girly man. Uh, he doesn't have what it takes uh, to repair the budget mess uh, that they have left behind. Spokesman for the Finance Minister, Darius Horsham. Sean, you're being an economic girly man. <laughs> the government cannot be expected to regulate what employers do or don't do with your money. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Darius. Fantastic. And to those critics who are so pessimistic about our economy, I say, don't be economic girly man. Arnold's dream is to create a fabulous utopia. But alas, the girly man is a formidable opponent. That's right. But hear me now and believe me later. We can easily crush girly men like grapes. That's right. And make a nice dry white wine. <laughs> Savignon girly. It is appropriate language. Um, it's completely okay in my, my eyes to have, uh, on occasion, controversial language to make a, a very, very good point. Uh, which he was making about the opposition leader. And I think with, without colour in Australian politics, it's a pretty dull place. I think it's the, uh, the form of language that's used. And certainly, Chris, I've been contacted by people in my electorate, uh, women who are offended by the statement that uh, the Finance Minister made. Uh, I think the, uh, that, that, that sort of language uh, is uh, 19th, 19th century uh, language. Sure, you might find it uh, uh, in an old uh, book of Fred Daly quips, uh, but let's not pretend that it's got a place in, in modern politics.